Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are Jose, you doing? Fine. Jose Antonio, which is your your um reading? Or you haven't sent it? Uh I did. It's it's white and red. White with red. Uh, what's the name? Uh, I sent it in a PDF called, uh, name with my full name, Jose Antonio Ramirez. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. But the name of the story is White with Red. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I have the... Uh, well, I made it with a Canva. I can send you the link too. Uh, you haven't sent it yet. I, I did in a PDF, but here is the link. Both works. Let me see. I have here the PDF. Okay. My grandparents, Whipping Woman, and Jose Antonio. This one? No. Uh, yeah, Jose Antonio. That's mine. Okay. Then. Who else is with us? Who else is with us? Ana Maria. Ana Maria, which is your your presentation? Or you haven't sent it yet? Hello. I have all, all of yes. them open here. Uh, the first. Wait. Esta está repetida. Bueno, después lo voy a hacer. Yours is. The vanishing of the Cecil Hotel. That is yours. Um, El Cadejo. This one. Okay. <clears throat> now, who of you are going to be first? I can start. <laughs> ah, if you want to. <laughs> Who wants to okay. start? Okay. Es que por último me llegaron un montón que ya ni las pude revisar. <laughs> <laughs> y entonces este, por eso lo vamos a hacer en orden en orden de 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 los que acaban de llegar. Ah, okay. O sea, de los que están aquí ahorita, en orden de los que están aquí ahorita, o sea, Sí. Vayan llegando, los vamos a ir leyendo. Ah, bueno, por, está bien. Para no atrasarnos. Y, y los que vengan tarde, hay que vean el video. <risa> ok. Entonces, usted va primero. Ok, ok. Salvadorian Ley. Permítame, oh. permítame, se lo voy a poner así como debe okay. de ser. Ok. okay. Thank you. Salvadorian Legend of El Cadejo. Okay. The, the legend stands that El Cadejo is actually a spirit or ghost represented in the form of a dog that has three rippling red eyes like burning embers. There are two types of cadejo, cadejos. The white cadejo that represents God, good, and the black cadejo that represents evil. Evil, evil. Evil, evil. God is his... Permíteme que no sé por qué está esta tontera aquí. Que no me deja ni ver bien a mí. <laughs> okay. In... In his uh, eager nurse to protect us, decide to create 
a god spirit which was represented uh, by a white dog. However, Satan saying this also decide to send a black dog to earth to fly against white and to defeat God. The black catejo, which represents evil, uh, usually appears to those who wander in the village uh, late at night or to those who perform perform immoral acts or have a bad conscience. Conscience. Mm -hmm. Conscience. He person for shoes. He's for shoes. His victims for a white to scare them and that in not Hypnotize. 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 Hypnotize them with its ash red eyes. Similar. Huge. 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 Red eyes are similar to burning coals. When he catches them, He, okay, he steals their soul living, then, then as, as fools. fools, then as fools for the rest of their lives. This is called in El Salvador that a person has been played by a bad spirit. Or the other hand, the white catejo has blue eyes and represents a spirit of light that protects all faithful believers and does not allow the black cadejo to steal the soul of new, newborn or small children, especially those who li live for, from the, from the village. villages. Okay. Now. It, it is it's say that the black catejo can be easily that chased away from the places or houses them if when? appears. Uh, where, where 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 it appears? Where, where it appears. appears. For this it's necessary but to burn in in incense. Incense commonly now of uh, so medio in El Salvador. The next time you go out at night anywhere in El Salvador and go along on the street, be careful to not stop looking back because maybe you could be following by a black or boy. a white dog. A white dog. Okay. That's okay. Pues es como una explicación realmente la historia esto de que lo termino de leer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This legend can comes comes came, comes from the times of our indigenous ancestors ancestors who believed that ghosts helped humans in their passage to the afterlife when they died in the country of Bocero, those are very beloved no, how beloved say? animals beloved Be animals because they take very good care of the houses of their masters besides beside they may be feeding and almost anything while the arrival of the Spaniards and Christianity, Christianity. Christianity uh, to our land, the legend uh, was modified 
to show the difference between good and evil. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, any questions? Alguien quiere hacer una pregunta sobre los cadejos? No? Entonces, como ellos no le están preguntando, hágales una pregunta a usted. Ana María. Una pregunta sobre lo que les dijo de los cadejos. Ok. Cualquiera. Ay, no, no sé, no sé estructurar la tita. Yo le ayudo, para eso okay. estamos. Ok. Vaya, pero, ¿en, ¿en qué parte? Vamos a ver. Um, la, la diferencia, uh, what's the difference in Vaya, the, the ya white? What's ah, the difference the between the white cadejo ah, and the black cadejo? Ok. ¿Lo dijo bien? Ok. okay. <laughs> ya ve, más es el miedo. Ajá. White. What's the difference between the white cadejo and the black cadejo? Aquí está. White, white cadejo help you, help you and the black is bad. Okay. One yes. represent who which of them represents good? White. The white the and, white and, and the other represents Okay, thank you very much. Now uh, we are going to read. Uh, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Ay, ya tenía aquí. Okay. José Antonio. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should I start? Should I start? Yeah. I pensé que le iba a poner en pantalla completa. Okay. Uh, ah, ah, permítame. ¿Cómo se hace eso? Aquí. En el, arriba. Ajá, creo. Eh. Puede darle F11. Está bien. Thanks. Uh, so today's story is called White with Red. A man just moved into an apartment and he and heads to the receptionist to get his keys. The receptionist gave him the key with a smile, but warns him to not disturb the door with no number on his floor. He wondered why, but didn't bother to ask. He was too busy with his new apartment to care. After he finished unpacking, he began to get curious. He questioned why the receptionist would warn him of such things. And so he stepped into his and he stepped out of his apartment and checked the door with no number. Este, salió una tablita. He tried. Okay. He tried the door knob first, but it was locked. So instead, he got onto his knees and picked through the keyhole. The apartment was looking into was empty. It was. His eyes scanned the whole place before stopping at a woman standing face against the wall. In the corner, he noticed her pale skin and long black hair before stepping back, suddenly feeling pervert in a way for inviting someone else's privacy. He brushed it off, assuming she was someone that did not want to be disturbed. Uh-huh. Hello. Uh, the next day, he got more curious about the woman 
and eventually went back straight away, getting onto his knees. He peeked through, through the keyhole and saw all red, red. He assumed that the pale woman must have caught him peeking the last time and covered the hole with something red. He left the door alone and instead went down to the receptionist to ask her questions. Okay. The receptionist signed and asked, you looked through the keyhole, didn't you? He admitted to it and so she left obligated to, be, to tell him the story. She told him that a couple used to live in that apartment a long time ago, but the husband ya, went ya no, crazy. Ya, eso ya no me aparece. Okay. The receptionist signed and asked you and ask you looked through the keyhole didn't you he admitted to it so she left she felt obligated to tell him the story she told him that a couple used to live in that apartment a long time ago but the husband went crazy and killed his wife however this couple wasn't normal they had pale skin black hair and red eyes <laughs> Then okay. what he saw was the eyes. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> they were seeing each other. Okay. Who will be the next one? ¿Quién va a ser el siguiente? ¿Quién es el next one? Hello, hello. Uh, me teacher which is yours uh, weeping woman or okay Iona. here we have okay now wait okay lo que tienen mucho sonido de background Se silencian, por favor. I think we are two with the same story or legend. <laughs> oh, este es otro. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál es el suyo? Mm, es este? I send it today. No, this is not mine. Este. In, in... Ingrid Serna. Mm, I don't know. Ah, es este. Okay. I can see the screen right now. Permítame. Okay. Uh... Oh, I see, right? That's mine. Okay. A pesar de que todos lo pusieron ahí, no revisaron. <laughs> Yes, sorry, I didn't Pero check that. Que, que algunas veces las, las, las cosas son diferentes, ¿ok? Podemos hacer hasta una comparación, ¿ok? Sure, thank you. Well, uh, the weeping woman, the legend of La Llorona, like we, we call, uh, tells of a woman who walks the streets in search of her children. Many say that it appears in places where a river once was, dressed in white with a veil of the same color or without it. Others say that you can only see its silhouette and that it is an entity that floats. However, the only thing that the multiply versions uh, that exist about it coins, co co I forget how it did to pronounce coincide coincide it, it that's there it is always a cry that says oh my children oh i miss hijos right she tells that an indigenous woman was the mis 
portraits of a Spanish conquistador, a conqueror, right? And when she asked him to formalize the relationship, ship, he flatly refused because he belonged to high society and abandoned her. The woman could not overcome the disappointment and blinded by pain and madness. It is said, it itself, uh, she took her children to the bank of a river and stabbed them to death. Uh, well, La Llorona is a soul in sorrow who drowned her children, who then repented and was cursed to that every night she goes out to look for them in rivers, towns, and cities, creating terror with her children chilling laments to those who listen to her. Um, on the other hand, in Nahuatl, the legend of La Llorona is known as Chocatzihuatl, uh, named uh, uh, Mexico, right? Uh, he says it represents the mother searching for her lost children after the capture of the Tenochtitlan by the Spanish. Yes, Tenochtitlan by the Spanish. The town was separated and divided to serve the Spanish from the separation of indigenous mothers from their children uh, or na natives, right? Well, it is, it is said, uh, arises the legend of La Llorona who lament and are always in search of it. Okay, a uh, final version is given at the time of the conquest, according to historian eh, Efrain Franco Frias, the story began to gain strength that the legend of La Llorona actually alluded to an indigenous woman, the Malinche. The Malinche fell in love and had a son with the conquered Hernan Cortes, but when he returned to Spain, he took their son with him, leaving the Malinche alone, despised by her people and in total agony for losing her son. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Okay. The Malinche. The Mal en México no la quieren mucho. No. A la malinche. <risa> no. Es más, este, a los que son, a los que son como traidores de la patria, les dicen malinches, malincheros. O sea, traidores a la patria. De que son como seguidores de la malinche. Porque traicionan a la patria. Ok, eh, okay. any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre la leyenda? Uh, yes, Hija, uh, ella dio varias versiones. ¿Verdad? Otra cosa que tal vez se le olvidó o, o, o no lo encontró ahí donde buscó esto es que honestamente esto de la llorona no es exclusivo ni del de Salvador ni de México, sino que por toda Latinoamérica, incluso Suramérica. Se tienen leyendas similares. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are similar versions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, could you make some question for them? Just a question for them. No. No? No, okay. no not today. Thank you. <laughs> now, who is the next one? ¿Quién quiere seguir? ¿Quién quiere ser el siguiente? Tengo este The Vanishing of the Cecil Hotel, está el de Soraya Araujo, está el Tabudo, alguien que dice The Door of the Hell, de Mr. I'm, the, I'm the Vanishing Hotel. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál? The Vanishing, yes, the Vanishing, yes. the Vanishing. 
Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay. I'm not already at my house, but I hope that you hear me well. Pardon? Uh, I'm not in the, at my house already, so I hope that you can listen to me. Yes, so, we can listen. Okay. Pero um, también les podemos poner un calcetín a los niños. <laughs> it's my birthday. A esta hora ya debería estar dormido este niño. <laughs> yeah, it's it's his it's his birthday. <laughs> oh, no, I'm teasing you. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, okay. okay. Um, uh, this story is about the uh, the vanishing at the Cecil Hotel in 2013. A young girl called Elisa Lamb was vacationing throughout the West Coast, documenting the trip on her blog and recorded her parents every day. Uh, she was a normal guest in the Cecil Hotel, but on January 31, she had vanished. The police get involved soon, and also her parents arrived to help with the search, but they had nothing. On February, they get a video cam tape who shows Lamb before her disappearance, but on a really circumstances because she appeared to talk with invisible people peering around the corner of the door, crouching the corner and opening and closing the door. Uh, could you pass the, the next one, please? Uh, the next few days, hotel guests started reporting uh, weird things happening with the Cecil Hotel water supply. Some of them said that when you turn the show around, the weather was coming black first for two seconds and then it was going back to normal. And also they said that the, the tap water tastes horrible, like sweet and disgusting. So that made that on February 19th, a hotel employee climbed to the roof to investigate the hotel's water source tanks. That's uh, where authorities found the decomposing naked body of land. Lamb and her personal items were found nearby. nearby. Uh, after an autopsy, her death was leveled accidental. Um, the authorities has no explanation because they said that the tank has a metal lunch that can be opened. Uh, uh, sorry, that was can't be opened. Uh, also, the access to the roof is secured with an alarm or not. But this is just one of the of the four criminal stories that happened in this hotel because they already have another story like the Night Stalker, a man called Richard Ramirez, who lived in the uh, 14th floor for several months in 1985, was found guilty of 14 slides. And the other one, serial killer, Jack under um, who was suspect of murdering three prostitutes during the time he lived there in 1991. And at the end, a female occupant jumped off, out of one of the household windows in 1962, killing her herself and a pedestrian on whom she landed. And all of these stories made that on um, February 20, 2021, Netflix made a dog call it crime scene with vanishes at the Cecil Hotel. So this is a real story. Yeah. Uh, it was a it was a news that I found because I didn't uh, remember any any story. It it is it is from long ago. If you see, nineteen sixty two. Okay. That that was a strange thing happening there. Then 1985 and 1991 is not something that it, it, it has its its story because this one is very recent. It, 2013. But the other ones 
are are back in time. Okay. Yeah, the actually the story was about uh, the the girl, but that was I think that that was interesting because the the, the whole team has uh, other stories. It, it has it has some some stories behind it. Okay. Yeah. Now actually they 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 have to close the hotel. At the end. They already closed it? Yeah, in 2017. Okay, nice. Thank you, teacher. Uh, no, thank you. Now, who wants to continue? Me, teacher. Solo permíteme, voy a cerrar este para que vayan subiendo los otros. Porque este ya estuvo, okay. Now, which is yours? Eh, Zulma Nabucodonosor. Ah, yeah. Nabucodonosor, okay. Mm -hmm. This one is good too. You, you found very interesting thing. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, se pronuncia Nibuchanitzor. Nabuka Dunser Nabuka O sea es Nabuka Nasser Nabuka Nabuka Nasser Okay Nabuka Nasser become a best Daniel um 42 uh, 2833 from 28 to from, 33 from. Okay okay from. Okay. All this happened with Kai Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. After 12 months walking in the royal palace of Babylon, the kinds spoke and said, it is, is this not the great Babylon that, excuse me, que... I built. No, pero me quedó bien. Pegadita, entonces le estoy dando zoom. The great Babylon that I will for the royal house with the strength for my power and for the glory of my majesty. The world was still in the mode of the king, the king when a voice came from a heaven, King Nebuchadnezzar. It it is saying to you, the Kaidon has been taken from you, and from among men, the, men they shall cast you out. And with the best of the field shall be you above, and has the oxen, oxen shall feed you, and seven times they shall pass over. Until you know that the Most High has dominion, dominion in the kind of men, and the gives and the gives it, it to one, whomever, his whomever. Will. whomever he whomever. will, whomever he wills, and the same hour the world was fulfilled up, up, upon. Yupon Nabucodonosor, and the, he was cast out from among men, and he ate grass like oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of the sky. You of that, he of that had, sky. Uh, of that sky. Mm -hmm. Until his high view, like eagle feathers, and his night like those of bears. Okay. Uh, a repentant. A repentant Nebuchadnezzar is restored in the price good. But at the end of time, uh, I, Nabucodonosor, lift up my eyes to heaven 
and my reason was returned to me. And I bless to most high and praise and glory, glorify him who lives forever, whose dominion is eternal, and his kingdom for the for all age. And all the inhabitants of the earth and considerate and nothing. And he does send according to his will in the army of heaven. And in the inhabitants of the earth, and there is no one to hold his hand and tell him, what do you do? At the same time, my reason was returned to me in majestic for guidance, my dignity, 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 mm -hmm. vanity. And my, excuse me. Vanity, Van, o sea, su vanidad. Dignity, eh, no. ah, dignidad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dignity and my greatness returned to me. And my governor and the crucial Lord saw me. I was returned my title and great greatness was ideal to me. No, I never could on the sword praise magnificent and glory be kind to heaven for the his work and true and the white right use and he might humble those who walk with pride. Mm -hmm. so, uh, okay, let us recognize. Let us recognize the sovereignty of God, of God. If we and if what we have is be grace and mercy, not be our strength. Amen. Amen. Okay. okay. What happened with Nebuchadnezzar? He became an, an, an oxen. No, he became he he, he became like a wild like a wild animal, okay? And his hair grow and everything, but it, it, it was like he became insane. O sea, como que se volvió loco. But it was because he was uh, too proud of himself. And he didn't give the honor to God for all that he had. And God showed him that way that uh, the the one who possess all the earth is God, and He gives to whom He wants what He wants, and that He has to uh, honor God for what He has. No say that He has it because He was the best. Okay, so He God makes makes him eat grass okay in order to make him be uh, humble pero imagínese que horrible después de ser un rey quedarse a comer grama si ocurre okay uh, who wants to continue soraya no El tabudo, the Riding Hood, Maritza Rivera, the Girola Mansion. Sí, teacher, Maritza Rivera. Okay. Okay. Bien. Um, we skip the car. Legend. Squeaky, squeaky card. The squeaky card. Legend. One hypothesis refers to the scarty as the white. To the squeaky card. Squeaky card as the white. Ostraporty, coarsey, durid, um, cholera. cholera epidemic. 
in eighty thousand one one thousand hundred. It was a special transport then in the image of the people because the wish car or the skip car say the story Salvador Salva Salvadora. 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 Carlos Cañas Dinarte. When referring to one of the hypotheses of the legend of the screaming car, it was established, established then this car to collect courses. Courses. courses uh -huh. Um, take, 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 take a team to new cemeteries, bulls for the plague uh, to pass after minute, minute night. Midnight. Midnight. Espérese que le voy a quitar esto de aquí, que le va a hacer estorbo. Ok. Uh -huh. Um, the popular popular story take time them skip kill car wars but wars story story the strength of El Salvador at night it's night original this precisely. The precisely, precisely, precisely. The from the Shulu. From the sure song they is one was make it. Well, it was. They also points one day sometimes change of mon bonus can be heard that he as him. Passes and then head carries. Human is es, que es School. que schools es schools on hit stickers sticks. O sea que habían eh, cráneos humanos en sus en sus eh, como las carretas tienen así como como algo que como estacas, ¿verdad? Trinquete se llama, dicha. Ah, ok, eso. Entonces tenía eh, cráneos humanos metidos ahí. Vea, eso es lo que decía la leyenda. Ajá. Yes, yes, teacher. Another characteristics of this layer is characteristic. Characteristic. Characteristic of the legend. Legend is stem. When the car pass, the hair. Is naked, this car does not. The earth shakes. O sea, la tierra tiembla cuando pasa la carreta. The okay. earth shakes. This car does not have upset. And there is not want to give it. It just was alone, alone it. Mm -hmm. However, there it is allowed to supposed to be carried the uh, spirit then is responsible for collection. Collecting. Collecting the souls. Collecting the souls. Then are in pay to transfer them to, to them after life. Permítame, eh, voy a quitar esto de aquí. Sí, permítame, le voy a quitar esto para que lo pueda leer bien. Eh, las fotos anteriores son de, de la sí. ciudad que celebra. Uh -huh. Ajá, permita. ¿Ok? Eh, no, ahí sí. Eh, falta un poquito, teacher abajo está negrito. Sí, pero ahí, ahí no tiene nada escrito. Ah, ok. Está bien. Eh, Today en Ciudad Delgado. 
located in the Department of San Salvador. Every owner set her. Admirates her and is not a friend of her. It moved from the San Sebastian Cemetery and rose to the my stress of the municipality of Ciudad Delgado. At the tour of the world, the Carreta Chiona transisted in one of the most popular areas of the municipality where the love for culture lives in the hearts of its inhabitants. It is a it is a journey day is a shift that is a shift that is a shift that is a shift tends to be piedra blancas artistic collection a group of you people one have received the service the tax of keep keep it the salvador Salvadora Leyen, Leyen Alive. Leyen Alive. The story of the Carretera Car, Carreta Carreta Squeaky says Squeaky Cart. Squeaky Cart. Squeaky Cart in Big House, Big Cow Idea for Money as an illogical um, me meaningless, Meaning, meaningless, meaningless, meaningless idea. Idea. But not for this group of you people, one grid of rescue a part of the urban story of our, our country, of our country. Own country. Okay. Laying hats is then the skip car passes uh -huh. wicked car passes toward the tongues ticket the soul of bad people. Other say them the story that you went um man's spirit was won't be the devil as he for me oxy pull 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 it is car to enter a sure the oxy resisted and right away the car rolled with those six animals the wheels downhill downhill down hills the extra team is down they never for it. The there. The car is kit in Ciudad Delgado be to come to life on um, Saturday, October 13. 13. 2012. To swap the world. 12. 12. Well, when for the first time, the young people of the Piedra Blanca Artist Collection left their fair bank and took of the church, church of the challenge. Church. Challenge of revival. On the chair of the revival, one of the most recognized urban, urban layers, layers in the world, country. Since the, the cheerful spirit of the Piedra Blanca group, group for the beloved 
be car skier run every year in the San Sebastian. Newborn of Ciudad Delgado has not rested that it be adapting new visual elements, new factory, when the sole purpose of Kirki. Curry this culture. Activity. Cultural activity. Curry, curry this cultural. Cultural activity. Them represent one of the mystic ten still life in the Salvador population. 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 Okay, population. thank you very much. Okay. Now, another one. Do you have my spooky story? Which is yours, Mr. ¿Cuál es el suyo? ¿Cómo se llama? Is the man who transformed in pig. Eh, pero eh, es, es en, en, en PDF, ¿verdad? No. El PowerPoint lo, lo, lo pasé. Sí, pero, pero ¿cómo, se, ¿cómo se llamaba? Uh, do, the, the man who transformed in pig and a woman transforming all. Sí, pero no, no, lo, no, lo, no, lo, no lo llamó así usted. Mm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué nombre le puso? Bueno, puede pasar otro para mientras lo busco. No, es que quiero saber cómo, se, cómo le puso de nombre para ponérselo. Mm. Que los tengo abiertos aquí. No, no, pero... No. Eh, ¿Leyenda de Elio? No. Sí, esa. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Así se llama, leyenda de Elio. Uh -huh. That is my, my house where I grew up. Ok, nice. Uh -huh. I wish I could be there. Ok. But now we have a beautiful resort uh, hostel there <laughs> oh really yes. nice where in uh, lake Ol olomega lake in la union oh nice in the lake okay uh, what's that the, the, the this thing is found something true and something that i am that i in my, of my imagination okay uh, nice when i was a child my brother and I uh, have a happy life. Even, even though we had our limitation, like you no know, electricity and some other basic service, because we were from a really humble community. One night my parents were not home and we heard some noise. It is true. I think it was at nine o'clock at night, the noise were like a horse entered to the corridor of the house. And with fear, we went to out to see, and we did not find anything. When we entered the house again, we could still hear the, the, noise, the noise, but there was nothing out there. The next day, we inquired with the neighbors about these events. And they told us more things than happened in the town. They told us Mrs. Chus turned into an owl, and Don Foncho turned into a pig, and the horse we heard was the horse of my grandfather Miguel, who went out at night to look for his master. It's finished, I think. No, it's that. Oh, okay. Miss Chus became an old. Sorry, sorry. Una pantalla. Una pantalla solita. Uh -huh. Miss Chus became an old twitchy chicken during night 
and don't want to turn into a pea to go to the cornfield to eat the corn of other people. One night when Don Foncho became a pig, he was giving a machete one in the ear and when he was again beating men with one A face. Since then he is called one A Foncho, Foncho el Tuerto. And you know that uh... Uh, in Mexico, they call them, uh, they give them a name to, to, the, to the people that turn from people to animals. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, 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 is, it is something Nahuales? that, that one, Nahuales. Nahuales, they call them that way. And because they, they, uh, but it's, it is that is something that they control and they do that because they want it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's it, yes. it says more. Yes. Uh -huh. now, okay. now what let's say my, my fellows. At for Don Miguel horse, my grandfather said that the horse loved him master so much that he goes out night to look for him because they went out to wander at night. Ah, what a legend. He had something real and it part something of the legend, as a legend. But what I am sure is that that place where I was born and grew up is like the Macondo of the hundred year of solid, sol, how do you say solitude? Solitude of Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Solitude. 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 Mm -hmm. this, uh, that that is my favorite my favorite book it's really nice book yes really i enjoy it too Do, you I, know? I have i have read i have read it at least four times in my life oh <laughs> because no I, more than four times because when when i read it when i was at, at high school I read it twice while my, my classmates only read it half. <laughs> I read it twice. And then uh, because I, I, I love it, I, I like it. And every time I get pregnant, I read it to my to my babies when they are when 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 I'm pregnant, I, I read that one to my mm. babies. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that you need to live in, 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 a, in a place like that to understand some things because it's, it's, it's vernaculus, ver, ver, es, como del campo, es como many things that they live in the rural area like lives, but it's a, a beautiful, it's a beautiful way of the right of that man. I, I like that too. Well, okay. I, I, okay. Miren, aquí dice, dice alguien que her, her husband uh, tells her that when he was young, uh, about nine years old, he saw uh, through the door to the street about at midnight a red cart that seems like burning, burning uh, fire. And they can hear like, like the horses, but there no, they, they were not horses. Uh, Cesar Adonai, which is yours? Uh, Thank the, you very much. Uh, okay, okay, the Isalco, I don't remember the name. Let me check. Uh, English legend, the door of the hell. Okay. Es está por aquí. Solo que quería, quería, la, quiero cerrar esta porque okay. así, conforme la voy cerrando, este, para ir presentando las otras. Eh, door of hell. Okay. 
Uh, teacher, as a good geophysics, I am I gonna take take talk you about a volcano. Yes, <laughs> you know that. I, I, what I love about this thing is that when I was born, it stops. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the the history about was born this alco volcano. In, in 1966, okay. when I was born, it stopped. Yeah. Because enough with me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, well, I'm gonna talk about the legend of Isalco volcano and the door of the well. It was in Isalco. There was a large excavation near the town hall. And at the bottom, we could see from afar, of course, the entrance to two Mansory tunnels. They said that when they were digging earth to make adobe bricks, adobe bricks, they discovered that giant work. Some curious people explored the tunnels without being able to find an, an end to them. So they said there were the consequent comments in the town. Of course, las comadres intervened, and after discussion and suspicions, the legend was born. I was talking with Don Julian Cisco, an Indian who spoke Spanish very well and was great narrator of his Salqueño tradition. He confirmed this, the story of El Subterráneo and immediately uh, told me something more interesting. Yes, sir. That's where the devil kept his treasure when he took it, took it out of the place where it was buried before. Where, where did he keep it? Ah, don't you know? The treasure was in the same place where he made the cerro. Tell me that story, Julian. And the Indian told me what I'm going to tell you. There were two greedy men. Okay, in this case, it's a person, right? I don't know. There were two greedy men, the husband and wife, whose names no one knows because no one ever mentioned them again after the catastrophe that destroyed them in their land. They live in a large hacienda on the site now occupied by the volcano and rent uh, their land to the poor Indians who were there perennial victims. Those huatales look like a blessing for God. The corn cores were three times bigger than those of day. And it's important to know, sir, that in those days, the cornfields did not yield mulquite. But the landowner and his wife had a very bad hair and insatiable greed. Insatiable greed. As often as the natives went to pay the census, they took from them more than what was agreed upon, or they kept the wall harvest. Soon those wretches atoned for their misdeeds one night under a stone of lightning, uh, lightning a man arrived at the hacienda in a clock. In a clock? That's that's that the pronunciation? Uh -huh, clock. Clock. He wore back glasses and in patent uh, leather overboots. He rode a super a super horse that was all that some of the sellers could say about him as the man looked rich. The bosses went out, went out to greet him with great kindness. kindness. But they were the kindness. But they were the only ones, because the young men who lived there said that they had all felt unexplicable fear, inexplicable fear. The animals also showed signs of ter signs of terror. The dogs howled with their with their tails between their, their legs and the cattle that were in a rodeo started running towards the mountain. 
with unusual mouse. Mousse. Uh -huh. Mousse, okay, mousse. Is what the, the, the cattle say. The, mm. Moo, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, what did the, the patrons and the guests talk about? Perhaps something very interesting and amusing. Uh, for they were merry drinking until late at, at night, a down the strange friend left promising to return. He came back every night and so the play began. Which one, Don Julian? The making of El Cerro. Ah, he said that knowing the great greed of the landowners, he told them of the fabulous treasure that was buried there. He told them who he was. You have already understood the devil. And then they made a, a treaty to extract the treasure. They had to dig a well, the digging of which was the, to be the responsibility of the land owner and his wife, who would have to personality dig a certain place. The friend pro promised then that they would arrive every night to direct the work. So they did. So they did three days later, the well was enormously deep. All, although the digger did nothing but pour the air into the barrel that hung in the garrucha. It was large and yet the woman pulled the rope with great ease. Yes, of course, there was someone who helped them. You understand that I am only repeating the words of Don Julian. Every night, the director of the play will arrive. He was going to pull out his friend, who would uh, have found it impossible to get out of the well without the help of this helpful companion. In the long awaited moment arrived, when night the treasure appeared. The barrel came, came out completely full of gold and precious stone. In the moonlight, the stone of different colors were covered with the fantastic sparkles. What would be the joy of the greedy? Inside the well, one could hear the joyful cries of the digger. There is more, there is more. And, and above his wife was also shouting like crazy, there is more, there is more. There is more, said the devil, who arrived at such moment and letting out an atrocious love grabbed the woman by the hair and threw her into the well. Then that same night, sir, the devil took your treasure and deposited it in the place you know, in that well, Don Julian. Wait, he's gone the big part. When the priest learned what happened, he went to the hacienda accompanied by the many people. He was going to conjure the corset place, but the exorcisms made it worse. No. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, because when the holy water that the priest put it fell, something tremendous happened from the mouth of the well began to come out assuring that caused fright. They were the scream of the damned, God save us. And brother Julian made the sign of the cross before continuing. When the priest and his companions heard the scream, they understood what it was and started to run. They didn't they did it in time because the infernal well began to spend smoke and immediately a column of fire. Such is the origin of that vomit of boiling teshkal that counts so many centuries already. This is the, the history of the hill. So how do chronics, chronics of the devil for greedy and tithes open 
in their own hacienda, the door to hell. Okay. That, uh, in, in, I don't know, it's- Yes, the door of hell. The door of hell, that is what the Indian says is the volcano of Isalco and is an article of faith among them that there are the rich who during their lives were like the land owners of the legends, but do not believe that only for the rich but people of Isalco, the devil made this concession. No also go to for their dues of all their republic. Okay, thank you. That's all folks, nice. <laughs> okay. Ya es hora de irnos. Este, vamos a dejar eh, los siguientes para... Lo que vamos a hacer es que nos vamos a apurar en, en, las, en las primeras... Yo creo que el, el primer día bien le doy todo lo que es el... Veo que hay varios que ya terminaron este, incluso el, el examen. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es que el primer día vamos a apurar eso para poder terminar, porque son bien interesantes las, las, las leyes que han mandado. Y entonces así ocupamos, digamos, se puede ir el eh, lunes, martes, a hacer lo que es la sección 5 y, y hacer el examen. Y nos quedamos este, jueves y viernes eh, terminando terminando con estas leyendas que, que, que quedaron pendientes. Good job. Good job. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Nice. Have a nice Thank weekend. Take care. Thank you, too. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend.